Okay, y'all, this is a gray fox we caught this morning, and this is a how-to video on how to skin a gray fox, and here we go. So pretty much all that I've done so far is I've cut a ring around the feet, and that's the first step, and then up here, I kind of started the Y cut, and the Y cut, you want to take it, take your knife and stick it in at the ring you did around the feet, and take your knife and run it all the way down. See how there's a different color fur right here? from like the outer pelt and the inner pelt well you want to run it right down that fur line up to the vent above the vent and then down the other side so we'll do that now Gotta loosen them up a little bit before you get started. Okay, so just get that cut made right through there, and then you want to carry it all the way down, then come up here, make the same cut. And then you want to connect your cuts. <clears throat> Okay, now once you get that part, 
you just want to kind of come up here and ring around the feet. Then just pull the hide off. on ringing his feet. Come on, the other side. And ring his feet over here. And then just pull the hide off. Okay, and then you see where your cut connects down here? Where you want to loosen up down there a little bit. <coughs> then fully cut this. So there we go, and then just come over here and free all this up. Okay, and then once you get that far, you can put them Come over here and free up the hide so you get to the tail. Okay, and then after you get that somewhat freed up, you want to grab the tail and then take your knife and grab it about four inches from the vent right here and then stick your knife into the tail through the fur and then you just got to get into it somewhere.
I don't know, it's kind of hard to find where you're cutting at on these tails because they're pretty bushy. Cut that off. Make sure you get all of it. And then just free up the hide. It's a little piece of fat. Okay, so then what you want to do, you want to come down here, free all this fat up. Come under here. Make sure you free everything. And then punch your finger through right into the tail. Pull it just a little bit, especially down the back. Then come up here, cut down the tail a little ways. Just free it up. Okay, get it like that. Then come down here and just cut the tail a little bit more. Do that, and then grab your tail stripper, get onto his tail right here. And then get a good grip on it and pull the tail <coughs> off. down the tail a little bit more. Okay, once you get your tail out, you'd want to go on ahead and take a tail tail splitter or a knife and slice it up the middle. But we'll do that later. Alright, for the rest you just want to pull it off like a sock. Okay, okay y'all, this is part two of our fox skinning video. We just left off when we stripped the tail off. Now we've been cutting this hide a little bit down the belly. You can pull a lot of it off sometimes. It just depends what you're doing. But right now what you want to do, you want to take your knife. It ain't, it ain't got to be too sharp. But just 
cut all this membrane right here and you can pull it while you're cutting it but just keep cutting it down the belly and the back until you get to the front legs then you want to slow down a little bit <coughs> see and I'm starting to get to the top of the front legs Come right here and cut all this down. Go to the back, cut it up. Get your hand up inside of it. Also, after this upload, we'll be uploading a new video on traps we've been catching stuff like this on. We'll just be showing sets and videos on how we've been baiting and stuff. And if y'all want to see anything else skin or you have any other questions, leave a comment or just ask. We can probably post a video of it. Just ask us and we'll catch it. Shoot it. Yeah, just let us know what you want. We'll do it. Now, we caught this gray fox today. I caught him at a dirt hole set. It was on a creek bottom and up with pine trees around it. I had the set baited with some chub mackerel. You can just get it at Walmart or somewhere cheap like that. And then for the lure, I believe I caught this one on Violator 7. Got it from Minnesota Trap Supply. It's a real good lure. It works good for bobcats, foxes, especially grays. It'll work on reds, but it's real good for grays. And coyotes is good for them too. It's got a real loud call to it. Works pretty good. And this is our first skin. Where do you finish this one? This one was the very first one we did though. Uh, that's the first one of the day. I'll try this. Around. <coughs> All right. Always wear gloves when you and, skin um, stuff too. Um, that's our fox, gray fox, first one we skinned today. It's really nice hide. Got the whole tail, no snap into it, no holes in it. I uh, just need to wash it, uh, you know, flush it, but that comes later. I'll see if I can post a video on the flushing part of a fox. Foxes aren't too hard to flush, they're fairly easy once you get into them good. They're not like coons, coons are real hard to flush, got a lot of gristle in them. Most of this fat on here, on this guy, you can just push it all off. And he's a big fox, 15 to 20 pounds. Down here in Virginia, it's pretty hard to find a great fox. Yeah, they're pretty rare down here. Catch a lot of reds. And then what I'm doing right now, I've just shaved all the pelt down off of here. And now we're to the front legs right there. And Hold it up again. right here, we're to the front legs. And what we're doing right here, this is where the two front legs are. And you can kind of see it, and you can take your thumbs or your forefinger, and you can poke it right here, and kind of try to push it down as far as you can get it. So just work that, and then take your knife, and cut up around the shoulders, try to get it going down at an angle like this. easier to get. And I'll be getting better recording stuff soon, but um, just for now, this is what we have. So sorry if it's not as good as it should be, but...
really you just use this process down the whole the whole animal after you get it past the tail you just keep scanning and then you do the front two front legs just like the back legs cut a circle cut a circle around them yeah and then you go all the way down to the head and once we get to the head I'll explain how to do the head the head's a little bit more difficult because you got to get the ears and the eyes but if you're taking it to NAFA to sell them they don't they don't keep the when these furs get taken to China or wherever buys them, they don't normally keep the faces on them so you won't get docked for having a messed up eye hole or a messed up ear. And then if you stretch it out real pretty, it'll look a lot better. And you'll get more money. Right now I'm just still freeing up the legs or trying to. On foxes it's pretty hard to free up the legs because they're they got joints right here they got an elbow coons don't have that so it's really easy to do a coon leg and you don't have to keep the leg fur you just gotta work your finger up under there see I'm working at it right here and I'm trying to connect this into here I need a little more knife work in a sec this station we got set up we got so, uh, just simple tools like a comb, wire brush, uh, knives make sure most of your knives are sharp because yeah. some of it's hard to cut through um, tomahawk, don't really need that uh, we got machete, some type of bar, some gloves. Always wear gloves. It's a good idea. Uh, got some snare wire, some traps. But uh, yeah. <coughs> and always comb out your fur before you do this. Because when you flush it and you're pushing on it real hard, you'll pop a hole in it. And right now, what I just did, I popped my finger up under the hide through here through right here and then pretty much all you have to do now is just try to pull this off but you gotta do a little bit of knife work but be careful because you can't really see what you're working with but once you free it up enough you should be able to grab it and pull the hide off somewhat So this is pretty much what you, what, what you need to do. Get your fingers up under here and just work away at the hide. Let me grab my sharp stuff. This is an exacto blade and just a little piece of wood. I couldn't find the exacto blade holder. And then these are just tough because this coon ain't, I mean this fox, it ain't warm. If you, if you catch them or hunt them, whatever it is that you do, and then you skin them real fast, it's a lot easier. It requires a lot less work. Okay, pretty much what I did right there, I just pulled it off the leg. Then you want to come over here, grab your knife again, and try to do the same thing over here. So it's just like a big sock, guys. Yeah. And then you want to try to punch your finger through here again. Got a little bit of meat. You can't really punch through meat. And then this is also helpful. I've got one made, but I haven't really ever used it. I haven't really thought about it. 
if you take like a wooden dowel instead of your finger and try to pop it through it works a lot easier see you pop your finger there through right there you got a bolt hole up here just keep on working it down And this one, it's not that hard. To, it's not as hard as it looks. Um, just getting this. It's just because this one's been sitting out. Yeah. And it's not as cold as it should be outside, so it's not. So uh, its body temperature isn't warm. Everything's a lot easier when it's warm. And every animal has its hard aspects. Like I said, the feet on these are pretty hard. And the legs. And the fur on fox is real thick. That's why. You make a lot more money on a fox than a coon. So pretty much, I can just pull it off now. Okay, you can get it down to there. Pull this one a little further. Take your knife. See how you got it like this? Well, you want to cut it all the way around. Saw it, cut it, do whatever it is you do. Just be careful not to almost pop a hole in it like I just did. <coughs> and what I recommend doing, if you don't know anybody that's ever put up fur, get a good fur handling video. The one that I got was Matt Jones after the catch. Bought it from Minnesota Trap Supply. Came real fast. And it shows you how to put everything up real nice. Alright, so that just popped right off. And you come up and here. And you just continue this same idea. And just keep cutting the membrane back. Keep moving down the body. Now he's on the to the neck. And another fall with foxes. They got real long necks. So you don't think that you're never going to get to the head. Because, I mean, you'll get there. It just takes a few minutes. And then just be careful everywhere that you cut. Because, I mean, you never want to pop a hole in it. Alright, we're running out of, um, video time, but, um, basically just continue the same idea down the whole animal you're doing, um, just keep cutting the membrane back, uh, be careful when you get to your eyes on any animal, uh, cause sometimes you can mess up the eye holes, and, like I said before, just keep working at it, it might take a few tries to get them perfect, but... And keep working on it. Just while we're here, when you get down to the ears, you'll see them start to pop out. Just go ahead and cut right through them, and you'll have your ear holes. Um, but at the end of this video, we'll post a picture or a little short video of the finishing product. Alright, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed.